Hi, today I'm going to talk about two use cases. The first one is the connected mobility, and the second one is the airline data system built on AWS. So let's review the first one first. So let's say we have the IoT endpoint that is developed based on, for example, IoT SDK, or uh, the v, for example, electric vehicle is installed with the AWS Greengrass, um, and also is installed uh, with the AWS FreeRTOS. Right, so with that, I mean the electric vehicle is good to communicate with uh, the AWS IoT core, which is sort of the center of the universe um, AWS IoT solution. So with the root engine, the AWS IoT core is to do some log filtering and send the logs to uh, the AWS Amazon uh, S3 storage. And it's going to be integrated with the AWS device management for zero touch provisioning um, and to get the device authenticated via the certificate, usually it will be the X509 certificate. So once the device connects to the internet, it's going to request the certificate, uh, get it signed, and also get itself authenticated. And of course, you're going to uh, provision the devices with uh, relevant configurations based on its profile. So we're going to store the profile information. We're going to store it inside a graph database. Why graph database, right? It's similar use cases to the user profile information stored in Facebook, right? So over here is one to many that kind of relation, right? So one uh, IoT device usually will be associated with, for example, its name, right? Its uh, owner, uh, its uh, like attribute, etc. So from the uh, data processing or analytics perspective not that advanced right so usually what we're doing with the data is more for the passive or proactive monitoring and also the diagnostics of the codes based on the debugging information and also the real time for example gps location information and also we're going to rate the drivers for the driving skills and apart from that then we're going to like for example visualize the data right so you're going to need a search engine that is built based on Elasticsearch is a port inverted index and is integrated with uh, the Amazon Neptune, which is the graph database. And they're going to integrate with a UI that is built on top of uh, CloudFront, which is CDN. And also, you're going to do the authentication and authorization uh, via uh, the Amazon Cognito. And they're going to store the data temporarily into the Amazon S3. Right? So, basically, this is how it works uh, for the connected mobility system uh, when it's built on AWS. So let's look at the next one. So it's the airline data system view. So over here, uh, for each of the airline, you have all those raw data, for example, the booking information, the flight information, the promotional information, the baggage information, the raw data, the user information, etc. And with a patch job, you're going to uh, store it on to uh, the AWS cloud and are going to seg segregate it into uh, different layers, right? So, for example, it's uh, pre processed layers, right? It's the layer that is in uh, process and also the post processed layers. But so over here, I mean, one thing we need to take, uh, take into consideration is regarding its data format, right? So, over here, for example, it's a raw data, usually you will be using, for example, uh, the row-based or Avro format, right? So that is really good for data transformation and uh, um, basically that is used inside the landing zone, right? And in terms of the parquet, so that is one step away from uh, the data or the processed data that can be used for the business consumption. So when it's parquet, which means that it's a column-based, right? So it's a wide column, so uh, it's very optimized for uh, certain data query, right? So with that, we're going to use uh, the quick site, right, as a visualization tool, um, and uh, based on uh, different like search or query engines, right? For example, the Redshift, the uh, SageMaker, which is based on the AI machine learning model, and also the Amazon Athena that's based on the Presto, right? So we're going to query the data for uh, the business use, right? And in the meanwhile, for example, you want to uh, do some real-time log analytics. Then we're going to use the Kinesis Street data stream, and uh, we're going to send to uh, like a few uh, serverless function, right? Store it uh, temporarily inside the NoSQL, and we're going to uh, send the data to 
uh, the end user via different endpoint, right? So basically, this explains how the airline data system architecture is when it's built on AWS. Hope it's helpful. Thank you very much.